I didn't expect people. All right, so we got this lever unit down. Uh, lever, precision cooling. But when I came, the disconnect was off. So I spoke with the guy. He said another company came out. They changed the compressor and they changed, he said either a fan on the outside unit or a fan switch, I'm not sure, but I don't have access to the outside unit right now. They gotta get somebody to open up a door. Uh, but he said since they changed the compressor, the unit hasn't ran. So I'm not quite sure if uh, they tried to run it or they, but he say something about the contractor dropped the ball on it. So they wanted me to come out and take a look and see what we need to do to get it back online. So uh, I don't know what's wrong, but I'm gonna check some incoming voltages. I'm gonna check some pressure to make sure it has refrigerant in the system. And just trying to look around and see what's going on. You can see how this casting built up in this in this uh, pan there. But I ain't never been clean now. See all that. That definitely need to be clean out. That's the flow switch for I can say I'm just gonna give my meter and do a kind of like a hot scotch and see if we got incoming voltage. Um, make sure all the fuses are good. meter out by checking pressure just to make sure we got refrigerant in it like I say it's a brand new compressor but they say a couple weeks ago they installed the compressor but uh your guess is good as mine what's wrong with this unit I have no idea so I'm just starting from scratch I'm tr troubleshooting it Suction pressure. Oh. Discharge. Oh, let's see, we got a liquid. I don't see no liquid. See, we got a liquid service valve somewhere. I don't see one. And also, this, like I say, this unit has a condenser out there. It has a uh, fan, a condenser coil, and a motor. No, they good.
That thing here needs to be cleaned out. Big time. Solenoid in here. I'm sure, it's pumped down. I think this unit pumped down in uh, so I'm at 42. Let's see what kind of refrigerant it takes. Gonna go to ground, check the incoming voltage. At 287, 285, 282, L1, L2, 497, L1, L3, L2, L3. All right, glad we're good on the voltage. That's compressor one right here. Going down, let's just check that the ground. Oh well, that's good. So we know the compressor not grounded. Okay, no open windings. Check out these fuses. All right, them. I'm fired up and see what it do. I don't see any alarm on anything where the blower motor at just the main fan motor right here I check get the ground the ol on the fan motor I'll see what it do, see if we get any kind of alarm. Alright. <clears throat> so it's probably fit to go off on low suction pressure. Yeah. So uh 
Need to find out why the solenoid is not opening. Uh, I think that's what it is. One of these solenoid valves not opening up. That's the, that's the hot gas bypass. Unit is off by on off switch, power is on. There's no alarm present. I honestly had to get tech support on the uh I worked on one of these units before, but it's been a while. Let me see. It just says it's off on on and off switch, so it's not calling for it. So let's see what the set point. Let's take a look at the alarm. It's got low suction pressure, November the 13th. High temperature, let's go back here. Or more analog sensors. Let's go back. need to see how to get to a set point. Here go set points right here. Inner view set point. Temperature set point is 68. See what the temperature inside is. I'm at 62 right now. So I might have to lower the set point. I'm at 63 right now. Set point. That's where 60, let's say 65. So let's see. Temperature. I don't know the password. God dog. Oh yeah. See if I can find out what the password is so I can lower the set point. Get a guy a car. Sometimes I had a set point written down in here, but I don't see it. So. I'm just scrolling through. I got a uh, tech support. They got me on hold. Let's see if I can get get a password from them.
Yeah, yeah. So I don't know the password even running through test mode. They say I can change password, but. Got to enter the current password first. I don't know. If I can find the uh, space temperature sensor, I can try to heat it up and raise the set point above 78, but I'll just wait for tech support. But that's a, I know, that's a uh, reset switch. Got a reset on the, uh, I think the high pressure. I think that's it right there. Got high head pressure, you gotta reset that one. I know this is a humidifier. It, uh, it need cleaning out. I think that's the flow switch for it. Hey, good morning, Kevin. Uh, this is Walter. I had a unit, a Libra unit here that I was trying to troubleshoot and I was needing a password for it. One second. The model number is B as in Bravo, zero, zero, six, seven, A as in Alpha, A as in Alpha, A as in Alpha, E as in Edward, one, two, eight, eight, two. Serial number is N as in Nancy, zero, eight, L as in Larry, seven, four, zero, one, eight, three. Yeah, it has a uh, yeah on and off menu, enter, up and down. Okay, one, two, three, and three, two, one. All right, lad, I appreciate it. All right, bye. All right, so if you ever need a password to these style units to change the set point, the factory default is one, two, three, and for everything else, it's three, two, one. So we got set points for set points, view set point. We're gonna do enter to change set point. And the factory default is one, two, three. All right, password, okay. Enter. Let's go to change, enter. And drop it down to 62, a 60 right now. Enter. Escape to exit. Power is on, unit is off by on and off switch. Since I changed the set point, it should turn on. Give it a minute. There we go. Look at our pressure. Make sure that cylinder is opening up. They gotta watch their head pressure. Like I said, I haven't had access to the uh, outside unit. So we have to 
make sure that fan running out there. Sight glass is flashing. the head pressure. I don't know what's going on on the outside. I think they said they changed the fan switch out there or uh, that THV is frosting up. This is my discharge line. I'm not hooked up to my liquid line, so I'm not gonna get a true sub cooling read. They don't have a service valve for my liquid line. That sight glass is flashing. I think we may be a little low on refrigerant, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off until I get access to that outside fan motor. It look like it's good to go right now. Been around for about five more minutes though. I need to get on the conference call at 10, so let me let it run and we'll get back with it. All right, everything looks good. I'm gonna get a Target Superheat, but uh, I just spoke with the customer. I said, when the other company came and replaced the compressor, that just the uh, outdoor fan motor was bad also, so. Uh, everything looks good. I verified that the outdoor fan was working. So I am going to uh, call it good. Just write out a refrigerant pressure down. I'm gonna check the, I'm gonna do a, basically a startup on it. Check out the supply temperature, check the compress, compressor amperage, check the blower motor amperage. And we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, I'm going to request that he do a maintenance on it, clean out this, uh, I may try to go ahead and do it on time and material while I'm here, clean out that uh, humidifier pan, and uh, we should be good to go. But I can walk you guys out here, take a look at this uh, condenser. Take a little condenser. I, t I told the guy also that uh need to clean the condenser coil. That's an air handling unit. This is the fan right here. 